Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So I think this daily video is going to be a mix of everything. The first thing I want to talk about is a little bit about early game progression. Now this might not apply to everyone, but um, I do want to cover it because it's pretty important for players that are stuck, or I guess newer players that really don't have any sort of um, direction. They don't know what to do now since they changed, they mixed up all the elements of the dungeon. So I'm going to be talking about that. I'm going to be doing some summons and then I'm going to be, um, you know, finally six starring my, my light wild thing. Now first things first, the golem, uh, the golem dungeons got changed completely. This isn't my official guide because right now I'm just extremely fucked up. I haven't slept since the update, like I've just been farming, testing things, going ham really, really hard. Um, <laughs> So, right now I'm extremely fucked up, but I, I will try my best. I think I'm coherent enough to be able to um, to put my thoughts in order well enough to, to, to explain this. Now, my best recommendation for you guys to right now, uh, for newer players that don't even have a dungeon team, is to build all water. And here is why. The B7 stage is basically changed to a wood stage. Now this stage is pretty much just as hard as the B9 stage before. It might be slightly easier, but it's not significant enough for you to, um, for it to actually make a difference. Now if you have a whole bunch of fire monsters, like maybe you just want to farm this stage, you could stack a bunch of fire healers, and that will be enough to help you clear the stage, because the boss has no sort of um, defense against... Uh, well, he has no no sort of sustain or anything like that, and basically, as long as you can survive and, and tank through his stap his saps, either heal through it or sustain through his saps, um, you basically just kill him eventually. Now, I can't guarantee that your runs will be fast. Your runs will probably be really slow if you just do it that way. But um, the good thing is, you will at least be able to farm this stage. Now. The reason why I don't recommend men doing that is because that would actually take a, mu a much longer time. And the monsters that you're going to be using, if you're trying to build like a healer comp for this stage, those monsters will no longer be usable after you get past this, this point of the game. So my recommendation would actually be to move into B8. Um, now to get through B7, you can either use some of your friend's reps and then refill a few times and basically just brute force your way through B7. Um, some, you know, just somehow like throw in some monsters and uh, try to beg someone for a rep, a, a rep, maybe a fire wild thing rep or something like that that can solo this dungeon. And then, um, yeah, and then you'll be good. Basically, just clear through it. Like, if you have to refill ten times to clear through it, just do it. Just get get past this. Uh, or, or re revive, I mean, 10 times to get past this. Just get past it and move on to B8. Now, the good thing about B8 is the B8 boss is really, really squishy. You can basically throw in any sort of nuker comp, um, and you will be able to do this. My recommendation for you guys is to build Water Monas. Water Monas are, are going to be really, really good for this stage. Um, it is purely theory craft right now, but basically water monas are like the water version of the dark monas. They have morale boost. They have armor break on their second skill. They don't have hunter, but um, they do have element advantage against the, the stage. So they will be able to do, they won't be able to do as much damage as the dark mona, but the good thing about using the water monas is they will be much tankier because they take only half damage against from from the, um, from the, the fire units since they're water. So the stat requirement of your team isn't going to be too high. Now, you can use some other um, water healers. My, I think the the one I recommend is definitely like water coteen, or you could use um, you can definitely use water siren. You can use pretty much uh, pretty much anything. Like water mini cat is also really good because water mini cat has that nice um, attack buff, but. You know, since the water mini cat is only summonable, not everyone's going to have him, and he's he's a lot harder to raise to evil three. So if you just want a really easy to obtain water healer, um, it's I definitely do recommend using water coteen. Basically, water coteen, water like you know, two water monas and then one. Um, I think Shelly would be pretty good as well. Like Shelly with first skill armor break might help you kill the boss faster. If you don't want to do that, you can definitely do like three water monas. 
the really good thing about raising the water monas is you can actually still use them in the future. If you're planning on farming the stage, uh, like just like really farming the stage, you could actually use three water monas. You know, when you get them to six stars and build them like full attack, and just speed clear through the stage, like the way I just did it just now. You can actually just you know dedicate those three monas just for farming the stage, and they don't they don't even need any really good gems. Basically, they just, they just need three attack gems that are six star, and that's it. Like they they need nothing else. Um, so, I highly, highly recommend raising some Monas. Now, there are, I'm going to be taking a look at some of the monsters that you can use for that stage. Um, there are quite a few. If you chose the Water Valk for your contract, that's also really, really good. Because you can use the Water Valk as well for that stage. Since she's Water, High Attack, has Predator, um, you know, get use some Gleams, make her evil too. And she will be able to clear that stage really, really easily. There's also some monsters, some 4 star monsters like Water Loki, Water Yaksha who are all very very good attackers, um, Water Vampire, basically anything that has like bonus attack. Also with the Rebirth Festival coming soon, the Water Thor is also um, basically a, a better version of the Water Mona just for that stage because he's like the Water version of the Dark Mona. He has, wait, he, let me let me get him out. He has Morale Boost. He has Morel Boost and Predator. Now, I don't think you necessarily need him at 3 stars. Um, now, because he is a 4 star monster, his attack is, is 2300. Her, his other two stats really don't matter for, for, for farming purposes, um, if you're just talking about late game. But if you want him to farm really fast, you definitely do want to have like 3 of them. Now, he has a difference of 300 attack, but the... The good thing about him is he he has that constant um, constant uh, thirty percent extra attack on his on his three star skill. I don't know if it's going to do more damage at Evil Two, and also it's also a lot of resource to get him to Evil Two, so you might as well just use the Water Mona instead. Um, if you have enough Thors to make him Evil Three, he, he's probably going to be a very good like just um, late game farmer for for Golem's B Eight. Now, Golem's B8 is also one of the best places to be farming Astrogems. If you just want, want to farm as much gold as possible in, a, in the shortest amount of time, then B8 is definitely the most recommended place. Now, um, I'm pretty sure someone's going to ask about B9. This stage is like... If you can somehow skip through it, just, just do it. Like... If you can somehow find some way where you don't have to farm this stage, just do it. Because it is just, it's god awful, alright? This guy this guy is just so much tankier than the B10 boss. And uh, he has like shield and just all these really annoying debuffs for you to, to not, like, to kill him as slowly as possible. Basically to waste as much as your time as humanly possible. So, I mean, unless you really, really need triangle gems... Um, it might be possible to skip through the stage depending on the the monster, the slots of your monsters. Say for example, you have you have a B10 team built, and your B10 team is um, you know all light and all diamond. It is technically possible for you to skip through the stage. Now, I don't rec really recommend building a team just for this stage because you're not really going to be farming it for the the long term. You could be building a team for B10 and possibly using that B10 team for this stage. Because since um, if your monsters are strong enough to, to farm through B10, they should at least be able to strong, be strong enough to farm through the stage. Um, given that your monsters are element neutral, so no, no fire monsters. So there's definitely a limiting factor there. Now... It's a little bit hard, like, even with some teams that can clear B10, um, you might not be able to pass the damage test of this floor. In some cases, it actually might be harder than B10, you just need a good balance of damage and stuff. I think the game is, or the devs are basically forcing you to build wood teams um, for this stage. Basically, a stronger version of a B7 team, like the B7 before, um, should be able to clear through this. So, if your B7 team was like 5-star monsters with a... Uh, with four star gems, 
you need to start looking at like six star monsters with like five star six star gems you know to be able to clear through this um it really is the only advice i can give you like i don't i can barely farm this stage to be honest it's it's just that horrible it's really really bad if you can stay on ba you might as well just stay stay there and farm as much as possible because you can farm astro gems there and with your astro gems you can do some more summons like if you're early game you're missing monsters you can actually um stay here and just keep farming ba over and over even if you don't need the gems just sell all the useless ones that you you absolutely don't need and you have a lot of gold and you can convert that gold um into astro gems and use more astro gems for summoning and you might possibly get some monsters that you need to help you break through B10. So that is the, I guess that's how I recommend doing things for progression. Now moving on, um, it's probably time to six star my light wild thing. Yeah, I farmed a lot of light, light stones. I don't know why I farmed so many, but here we go. Here's one million down the drain. Mm, she's gonna be so sweet. Now, I'm also planning on sacrificing my other two wild things into her, but I'll probably do that once I get her to max level. And, um... Since I can still use them for like a few golems, or a few titans fights before I, before I sack them. I no longer need these two units, they really have no place in my teams anymore. Um, you know, maybe the fire one, if I can get him to evil three, the wood one, I no longer need because I have better CC monsters for, for dragons. So I no longer need this monster. Um, so it, I think it's a pretty good chance to feed them into her. I don't regret six starring them because she, she helped me clear through B8 before or B9. Um, when I, when I wasn't able to do it, I did so by six starring her and then she helped me farm through dragons early on. Uh, when I had no other CC monster, and she was the only one I could use. So, these two units definitely did their job, and it's time for them to retire. So, you know, I'm going to be feeding them into her once I get her to, to max level. And I also need a few more wild things. I think I only need three more. Only three more wild things, and I will be able to, um, to Evo 3 her. Yeah, I need three more wild things. Alright, so I guess that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to be doing doing a few summons. I do have a light dark egg as well. And I guess we can do like one rebirth. I'm very very close to, to the rebirth threshold. For the guaranteed one. Ooh, I have a... I got a variant hunter. I should probably feed this into my dark one because my dark one... My dark hunter is still not a variant. Now, I've been on a light dark like summoning drought for a long time because ever since the dark Indra, I haven't gotten a single lightning on my light dark egg. I think I used up all my luck in, in light dark eggs for, for doing that, but um, you're going to see if I can get some lightning again. Nope. Oh, nice. I got a cult again. This, this guy's a variant. Oh, he has a low, low roll. It's unfortunate. Now, I've been trying to get my cult to Evil 3 for the longest time, and it's rough, alright? It's really, really rough. I, I, I'm, I'm trying. I'm really, really trying. Um, but I, I really don't have any cults. I think I have, like, one in storage. Oh, I have two in storage. So that's not even enough to make, make it Evil 2 plus 1. That is a little bit sad. All right, let's let's do one rebirth. Um, can I even do one rebirth? No, I, I don't have enough monsters to do one rebirth. All right, I guess that's pretty much it. The the um, I think the main focus of this, this video is just to talk a little bit about progression and stuff. If you guys have any questions, definitely do ask me. And I'm also almost always on my Discord channel. So if you want to ask me any questions live, um, hop on Discord. And there's also a lot of people talking, a lot of uh, high-level people as well, like you know, people further in the in the game than me as well. Um, so if you're if you need some help, definitely do hop on Discord. And you want like replies fast, because 
you know, I don't always reply to YouTube video, YouTube comments. Like, I reply to all my YouTube comments, but I don't reply to them, like, immediately. But, um, if you hit me up on Discord, I'm always on, so I can just talk to you really fast. But that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, the link's below in the, in the description. But that's pretty much it for progression, and hopefully this helps some of you guys out. I will start trying to, um, I'm working on an alt account. And I'm trying to start building teams like for for golems now, um, using like all farmable units. So that might that still might take a a little bit of time, but you know I'm I'm still trying really hard to get it out as soon as possible for you guys. Um, basically making an all account just to just to show like farmable teams and stuff without hurting the progress of my my main account. But that's pretty much it. So thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.